Val Kilmer, as we have established earlier, was once a great actor. We've seen the man like in the previously mentioned Top Gun, Heat, Willow, and my personal favorite, Real Genius. You young'uns out there wouldn't know nothing about that. Now in this movie, Conspiracy, from Stage 6 Films, Mr. Kilmer looks like he's trying to enter in Steven Seagal, Wesley Snipes, and Jean-Claude territory. Is he ready for this? No, he is not. It's not a sin that my boy wanted to go. I'm going to bring him to America. When a Marine finds out. Can I help you? Do you know of a Miguel Silva? No, that name does not ring a bell. His best friend's been killed. Why is the defense and reconstruction outfit building houses in this area? And the neighborhoods become... John Rhodes, CEO of Helicor. A one-man show. <laughs> Heck, I own most of the town. People start playing where they shouldn't. Look what happens. He'll stop at nothing. We can't keep doing this. With no time to spare. There's something you need to see. I am a citizen. I offer this country. Someone needs to stop him. To take back the town. You tell John Rhodes, I'm bringing hell to God's country. The hell? What the hell's going on? Jennifer Esposito, Conspiracy, on DVD. First of all, if your politics lean a little to the right, you may want to avoid this movie because they spend a lot of time in this flick attacking euphemisms for Dick Cheney and George Bush and Halliburton and those Minutemen who have taken it upon themselves to patrol our borders. A lot of time. Too much time. I mention this because it takes a while for the action to kick in in this flick. So we have to deal with all of these politics and Val Kilmer, who seems to be mighty bored most of the time. Then you have your bad guys who are all a bunch of one-dimensional redneck hillbillies and not all that interesting except when they beat my man with his peg leg, which probably wasn't all that cool, but it was funny. Finally, when the action kicked in, the movie got a lot better, but I'm thinking they might have wanted to get a stuntman with a body shape similar to Mr. Kilmer or at least add some padding to the stuntman. Seriously, you're watching a movie and you wonder, hey, who's that kicking everybody's butt? But then you realize that it's supposed to be Val Kilmer. I mean, I'm not one to talk. I mean, I could stand to drop a few pounds myself. But then I'm not sneaking in a skinny stuntman to handle the tougher parts of this show for me. So even though Conspiracy has some decent action to go along with these politics that are being force-fed down our throats, Val isn't quite ready yet to jump into these crazy action movies. Just because you've let yourself go like Steven Seagal doesn't mean you are Steven Seagal. Conspiracy. Three twists. <laughs>